Uh, I usually like to start off the night of drinking with this bad yeah. boy. That's why it's a I good call one to start with. It's my breakfast uh, yeah. when I'm going out. So. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, and after hours. <laughs> Welcome to a special edition of Two and a Half Pints at 99 Hops House. We're here with a special guest, a uh, bartender by the name of Carl Ramsey here at 99 Hops House. Carl's got a wealth of knowledge when it comes to beer. He's always good at recommending uh, beers to, to our guests. And we, we, we asked him to pick his favorite beer that we have on draft right now. We got 92 drafts and it's a lot to choose from. Which one are you picking? Uh, we went with the Founders Breakfast Stout. It's a uh, coffee lover's dream. I'm an avid coffee fan. Uh, it's rich with chocolate and oats, and it really comes together well. Great balanced beer. We have it on nitro here at 99 Hops, um, so it's going to ensure a, a thick, creamy head yeah. all the way down, and it's really smooth. 8.3% uh, alcohol, so it's got nice. a good kick to it. Uh, I usually like to start off the night of drinking with this bad boy. Yeah. That's why it's a good I call one to start with. It's my breakfast uh, <laughs> when I'm going out. So. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Yeah, and after hours. <laughs> Yeah. This is a so this is an imperial style, right? Coffee yeah. imperial style. So this is a yes, big sir. boy. Uh, you did mention oats. I think that helps with the creaminess as well with this yeah. guy. Mm -hmm. So let's give it a give it a try real quick. Oh, yeah. I haven't had this in a while. Oh gosh, this is actually one of my first favorite loves of craft beer. Was this one? I, awesome. I think they've been doing this. Founders is out of Michigan. Uh, they've been around a while. And this is one of their probably one of their most popular beers. It's been it's one of been one of their most popular beers for a long time now, and um, we basically keep this one on at all times. It's just a it's a great beer to have on. It's a great imperial stout go to. Yeah. And I love the coffee. It's got the bittersweet chocolate they put in it. It's yep. got the coffee Java coffee. I think they have two oh, yeah. roasts of coffees. I'm not sure which ones, but um, uh, it's solid <clears throat> solid choice. So thank you. Anyways, come on down. Carl's Tenon Bar. Uh, it's got a lot of other great beers to recommend yeah. as well as this one. Uh, we've got 64 on tap up here, 20 in the back, self-serve. What do you like about the, what's your favorite thing about the beer wall? The great thing about the beer wall is that, you know, you're not necessarily stuck to one beer or one style. Like when I go out, <clears throat> I want to have a couple different beers. Um, sometimes I can't always make it through because I like <laughs> high alcohol. Exactly. So, you know, I can come in and get a couple ounces here, a couple ounces there, and, you know, just try my different styles and get that out of the way. Yeah, one, two ounces instead of getting full porch and not investing all this money into a, a big uh, yeah. big ABV beer. beer. Oh, yeah. So follow us on Untapped. We're a verified venue. We rotate weekly. We just put on 10 new beers yesterday um, just to give you an idea of how many we rotate on a weekly basis. Um, again, 92 drafts, a bunch of bottles. We even got a reserve collection of bottles as well. If you become good friends with Carl, he might uh, might give you the list if you're lucky. That's me. Anyways, come on down to 99 Hops House. Cheers, buddy. Yep. Good pick. Mm -hmm.